featured bout of the evening brought to you by Geico. Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside, Patricia Morse Jarman, Dave Moretti, and Dawn Trella. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing in a battle of unbeatens for the lineal heavyweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world on ESPN Plus and across the UK on BT Sport, live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's time for the top-ranked boxing main event of the evening. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, presented in association with SES Boxing, entering the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim, hailing from Magdeburg, Germany. Standing at six feet five and a half inches, he weighed in at 245 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his U.S. debut, please welcome the longtime WBO Intercontinental title holder and the WBO number two ranked world contender, introducing the undefeated Tom Schwartz. And his opponent across the ring, the defending champion, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, representing MTK Global, and fighting out of Manchester, England. Standing at six feet nine inches, he weighed in at 263 pounds. His record, 27 wins, no losses, one draw with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his top rank and Las Vegas debut, he is making the fourth defense of his lineal heavyweight crown. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former unified world champion and the current popular, undefeated, and reigning lineal heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. And introducing our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Kenny Bayless. Okay, gentlemen, chunks are good on both sides. Now listen, I went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you again to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck, touch them up. Veteran referee Kenny Bayless, he's done it all in his career, including being the third man inside the ropes in this very ring for Mayweather Pacquiao. And now he's here for Fury Schwartz. Joe Tessitor, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward on the call here. Guys, at the weigh-in, Tyson Fury was calling Tom Schwartz a bum. Mm -hmm. He yelled in his face and said, you're getting it, Tom. I'm knocking you out, and I'm doing it in one round. That is not Tyson Fury's typical form. He's a master chess player. What do you expect early? Boxing. Sweet science. Lots of movement. Off the long jab. 85-inch reach of Schwartz. And then he's going to set him up for the big boom. And that's the right hand that you were talking about, Dre. Mm -hmm. But Tyson Fury, when you got big talk, we expect big walk. <laughs> it's not just about winning tonight. It's about winning in style for Tyson Fury. And for Tom Schwartz, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. You don't know if you'll get another one against a fighter like this with the credentials that he has on this stage. He's got to take full advantage. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I like the jab to the to the body from Tyson Fury. I like how effortless it is. <laughs> nice and smooth. Oh, take with a shot right there in between. Good fast hands by Tom Schwartz. By Tom Schwartz, yes. But going down to the body will slow down Schwartz and also drain some of the power he packs in that right hand over time. Think about Tyson Fury. That's impressive. 
as you see a heavyweight, you see a guy 6'9", 85 inch reach like you mentioned, Tim, and you expect him to throw everything hard. No. He has different rhythms, different cadences. He'll throw a soft punch, a yep. blinding punch, and then he'll throw a sneaky right hand that you saw in the Wilder fight. If he lands that right hand flush, he can hurt Schwartz for sure. Look at the feint right there. You see the response from, from Schwartz? When you feign a fighter and it responds, you kind of laugh inside, you know, secretly. And then you set him up for the punch of the opening that you see. I saw just a second ago when Tyson Fury feigned Schwartz, he dropped his right hand. He brought it forward. Look for the left hook of Tyson Fury and the right hand to follow. Fury successful with a right hand that split the guard moments ago. The constant movement, the ability, that jab, 85-inch reach. As Schwartz tries to close the gap and drive down a right hand. You see that angle that Fury takes. He leans to the back foot in the direction of the right hand. You know, Wilder had success with that right hand. Landing it on the ear, on the temple of Tyson Fury. So he has to be careful. He has to correct that flaw. Excellent work with the jab coming off the hip, utilizing that reach, that snap. Tried to turn it into a hook that time. Doubles it up, just constantly touching him, probing. There he is again, pumping that jab. Six foot nine in all that range. Steady boxing from Tyson Fury right now. Not throwing combinations, not it's too early for that, but he's picking Tom Schwartz apart right now. End of one successful work with the jab from Fury. And note the stool in the corner. Christina. A taller stool in the corner for Tyson Fury. He had a custom 30-inch stool made for tonight's fight. This is the look at the difference between the standard 18-inch stool, which you see in every fight in the corner, and you'll see in the corner for Swartz. This is the custom 30-inch stool. They had to have this stool approved by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. They approved it. They painted it red. And all six foot nine of Tyson Fury will be very comfortable in between rounds. Thank you, Christina. And in typical form, Tyson Fury says, I don't need the stool. He's only 26 years old. It just shows you what type of shape Tyson Fury's in. And oh, he's coming out southpaw. That's what I'm talking about. The Terrence Crawford of the heavyweight division. Smooth in the southpaw position as well. So now Tyson Tom Fury. Schwartz, who had to deal with that effective jab in that first round from Tyson Fury when he threw 45 jabs in that first round, now has to deal with the right hand sitting right on top of him. The southpaw jab that Fury will also turn over into a right hook. Straight left came behind at that time. Fury just giving a different look early. You know, you worry about him switching southpaw because of the right hand of Schwartz. Uppercut from Tyson Fury. Comes in with a left hand. Just missed with the right hook. But the uppercut was effective. Comes with a lead that time. And now he has Schwartz thinking about all the weaponry. Schwartz is slow on his feet. Trying to get in a position to, to land something on Fury. Fury just keeping him on the outside. Nice steady movement from Fury. Oh, there's a good left hand. Schwartz tries to fire back. And just like that, Tyson Fury turns the tables and lands a right hand at distance. Tom Schwartz hadn't even adjusted to the first thing that Tyson Fury was doing in the first round. Now he's giving him a different look from the southpaw position. A lot of trouble on the shoulders of Tom Schwartz right now. This is what makes this division so fascinating. Deontay Wilder is the biggest puncher in the sport. He has dynamite in his right hand. But Tyson Fury is among the most complete fighters in boxing, let alone that he's 6'9", 265. Oh, how about that left hand? And now he's got both gloves down at the hips, and he is just pumpkin Schwartz coming off the hip. He knows he's in control. Look at Schwartz's nose. Blood is already streaming down here with still a minute to go in round two. Fury's in complete control. This is brilliant boxing from Tyson Fury. 
changing angles, coming up the middle with a nice short uppercut, splitting the guard. Schwartz trying his best. Look at Fury! What unbelievable upper body movement defensively! Four punches missed with the head movement. He's got everything here in this second round going. And now the combination punching, and Schwartz goes down! This is a master class right now! off this sensational second round. Here comes the champ. Right hand, left hand, in the corner. Schwartz is in trouble. Big man's blasted away. He's taking a huge punishment. Got to get in there. Ten seconds left. Get in it's there. over. TKO victory. And still. Welcome to Vegas. His debut, and he's a showstopper.